of the top training center in Tenerife, T3. And uh, here we are to look at how we can make the next generation wetsuits. What we have with us here are three elite triathletes and uh, one elite open water swimmer. One thing that is a requirement for us in Santara Tech is that when we partner with somebody, they have to be willing to turn upside down on things. We don't partner with somebody that that uh, are afraid to go up against uh, others in the market that are considered the best. So what the Boer agreed to that when we started this development of this partnership that we would benchmark the, the Boer wetsuits against the other state-of-the-art wetsuits in the market or the wetsuits that are considered the best. Yep. So what we're doing now is the gas calibration. So this simulates so what the gas is that is in the bottle here this simulates the gas that we exhale so it contains 15.95 uh, percent uh, oxygen and five percent co2 so that we we get as good as possible measurements and this also allows us for even with uh, with the view to master which is an, uh, a system that calibrates against ambient air but then we can also look at the accuracy of the system which we have obviously found like to be quite good Then you take 2.5 liters and divide it by 64. Second competitive branded suit. Obviously with this flume, uh, we have the opportunity to control the speed of the flume extremely accurately. Uh, and on the other side, so we know that in a system or in a human system, we know that the real, the, if the output is the velocity or speed, the input is the calories that it takes to do, or to do that velocity. So when we measure these two in particular, we can know, for example, if we keep something at a certain speed or a couple of speeds, we can look at the cost it is to measure or to, to, to swim at those different speeds. And this way we can really quantify uh, what is the differences between the different suits. So uh, to uh, summarize now the days of testing in, uh, at the Tenerife Top Training Center T3, uh, together with the Boer, we are now establishing what we know is the gold standard for how to really advance wetsuit development. Um, and I think that uh, the way things are being set up now with the instrumentation that we're doing with also with all the partners that we have and we can combine into this, this allows us to get an extremely accurate understanding of what makes a wetsuit faster, and slower and, and, and so on. How do we even individualize it? Um, uh, what we see, uh, what we, we learn quite a lot from the process, much more than we had expected. And not only that, uh, that allows us now to even get more targeted in the focus moving forward for where we really want to, to, to make uh, progress. But more interestingly is also that we saw bigger differences between the wetsuits than what we actually expected. So not only is the Fjord 3.0 a fast suit, but it will get faster.